Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jake Javarilli of Javarilli.com. Just a bunch of referral links. Up with yet another video. Oh my gosh, I'm on a roll. So, what's this one about? This one is about the Smart Life. Now, if you've heard of Tuya, Smart Life is made by them. And they connect to everything. Oh, maybe not everything, but their list of things that they connect to is immense. So many different devices that you can get off eBay or Amazon. Um, it's just they, they, their repertoire is amazing. So many things you can connect to. Just gobs and gobs and gobs. Probably, I would not be surprised if it's over a thousand different things you can connect to with Tuya. So, um, and it's very easy to do. You can do the auto scan, it just finds it. You, you do the manual, like if you're setting up a switch uh, outlet like these ones here I have, it's you turn it off, then you press the button. Hold until it starts flashing, let go, turn it on, boom, it finds it. Every single time. So unbelievably easy. I love this app. And there's no fee. Just add. Now you have to do you do have to have 2.4 gigahertz. If you're running on five and that's the only thing you have, you're not gonna you're not gonna have it, it's not gonna work. You gotta have 2.4. And you need to be somewhat close to the device when you set it up. So you plug the thing in near and you and you run this thing near and then it'll work. And it, I can tell you I've had problems in the past, but as long as I move it close to the actual Wi-Fi point, it's fine. So if you can, try to do that. You know, if you've got a plug, probably, I mean, Wi-Fi is usually plugged into power, so just use the other socket to plug in the device. And if it's light bulb, you might have to drag a lamp over there. Anyways, what I want to talk about here is these um, KMC. Here it says KMC, I hope you can read that. KMC triple outlet. Um, so there's three switched outlets and one non-switched outlet. So when you can press this button, and that's, that button actually works. I'm not gonna touch it because I got stuff running on it right now. But this works just like the actual device. So you can you can, you can actually push the button that's on the front of it here, or push this button, which like I said, I'm not gonna touch. The thing I love about this is they're individually switched. They got three plugs, I can just plug into an outlet, and I can rename them per these little names I put on here. And then you can also check the power stats. Yes, I'm actually running 1341.5 watts of power right now. That might sound like a lot. It is a lot. Um, but that's because I'm doing mining and that's why the top of the thing is named miner. Um, and yes, you can see how much power I've used. Quite a bit. Now, previously, if you're wondering about these numbers, this is when the thing was not a miner. So only this stuff was when it was actually mining. And this was actually in my house. Since then, in September, and now October, I've been running outside in my new shop. But um, back here, I was using this for like a hallway plug, and I only had like two or three things plugged in there, just lamps in the hallway. Um, but I really like this because it gives you this, what do you use the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, and then as you're going, how much you're using it, and it tallies everything up at the top. It's so brilliant. Now, it'd be nice if I could get this stuff exported, but I'm happy. I mean, I am really happy with being able to see exactly how much current, how much power, how much voltage, what's the total kilowatt hours for the entire span. You know, this is everything. This last number here is everything I've been since I plugged in. So technically it's counting this stuff down here, which, which wasn't part of this. Um, but it shows me, so you go into August here, you know, what my baseline was. This is when I was doing testing early on, and then I added more cards and more cards, and then you know, I just, you know, this is more testing. That's the reason the power fluctuates up and down and more adding more cards. So in that month, I used 400 kilowatt hours. And then in September, you can see more testing going up higher, going up much higher, up to 30 kilowatt hours per day. And then, you know, different testing as it's going on as when something failed, I think. And then when I moved it, you know, actually, I think this is when I moved it down here. Yeah. Um, and then, um, you know, in the month of October, I've hardly been here at all. But you can see on this, on this is only on one miner, 30 on average, 29, 29 and a half kilowatt hours per day. And then we're here on the fourth. That's the reason this number is low. So I love these things. I mean, if you are going to use them for more than what I'm using them for, and obviously that's a grand possibility, you can set other functions here. You can set this thing here, read that or not here, timer data. You can set things come on and off on your schedule. But the nice thing is you can connect this to Alexa or to Siri, you know, um, home, home plug, is it home plug? What's it called? The Apple, Apple pod thing or uh, Google. Any one of those things will work and then you can control. Now, the one thing I will say that I don't like that Google can't do is it can't tell you the power. I really wish it could because then I feel like I could do some analysis on it. But, you know, I can always just collect this stuff out of this app 
and I can control it from this app. But I don't really need to turn this stuff on and off from the Google Home interface, so I don't. It's there, but I don't really need to. Um, I only really control it from here. If I did want to control it just from that one app, I would, but eh, I've got so many other apps you know, kind of plugged into this thing, I don't really need to change it from there. So I just basically try to get at the, the fact here that I have you know, this information here. I had a third outlet, but I, I did something stupid with it, so that one's broken. But I just want to talk and just give you guys a ge very general idea of the utility of having this thing. I don't live near my shop. I'm about 10 miles away. So uh, I, if I, an, at one moment, need to you know, make a change to the power on this unit or I need to reboot something, this app does it for me. As long as my internet's on, I can still connect and still do this. So this is, like I said, just a quick video. I just want to give you guys a general idea of what the Tuya Smart Life app can do. And I highly recommend it. Just as a, a note, I will put comments in the videos down below in the description. You can get these things off eBay in the U.S. for about 15 bucks a piece. It's a very, very good deal. You can get these things here a little bit cheaper, like $12, $10, $12. You can usually buy them in a two or a four pack. But um, I love, I mean, I don't even have just on-off switches anymore. I only have power monitoring. So I know exactly how much power is used. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next video.